Hey, what's up everyone? Atlas and I are in Northern Michigan. We're gonna be up here for a while, probably the whole winter. And we're gonna do some overnight winter camping out in the snow. We're gonna try and do some bushcraft, some shelter building, maybe some other fun stuff. But uh, it's the first time we've been out here in a while in the winter, so we'll see how far we can get. We only have about four and a half, five hours to uh, till dark. So about a half a day, we got a little bit of a late start. Yeah, we should have some fun and She's loving it. She's digging her face in the snow. Atlas, come here. She found some. No idea. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're going to load our sled up with some uh, gear and uh, find a good spot in the woods to uh, post up and camp out for the night and cook some food. Let's get going. Just stay, stay right there, stay. All right, so found an area I think we like. We, he's over there, but I, th I, th I found an area I think I like, and it's about quarter mile, maybe a little past quarter mile from the truck, because clearly, as you can see, I was having a lot of trouble with this thing. The strap kept breaking its twine, and it's a uh, child sled, so I borrowed it from a friend, because all the stores were out of sleds, because we had a snowstorm about a week and a half ago. So people went and bought them all. So I couldn't get very far, but we made it. Anyways, my idea tonight is to build a kind of a lean-to, but not with the two trees. I'm just gonna have just the one ridge pole going about this high, about right there to the ground. Then back, you're gonna have your planks going across the backside of it, fire out here, fire pit, and uh, yeah. So right now we just gotta get a ridge pole, get that secured up to the tree, and then start chopping down some dead trees for the uh, the back of the the shelter. And she's no help; she just runs around hunting and covered in snow. But that's what she loves, so she'll do it. All right, so let's go get some wood. Okay, so I couldn't find the right dead standing tree, but I uh, found this guy leaning over, so it's a good size. I think it'll work, so just gotta go across this really quick and trim all these guys off. Take a minute. Kind of stuck in the ground. There we go. Bridge pool. Something like that. I'm gonna put a little lower, and then I hope it's long enough. Put it.
I don't think it's long enough. Damn it. Okay, so I think this log will work much better. Yeah. All right. Let's take off some of these branches real quick. This log is rotten, has no integrity. One. On the hunt for another one. Okay. Damn. I feel like this should work. Definitely longer than eight feet. From here. It really doesn't seem too much longer. It's definitely more like nine to 10 feet. Oh, that's bigger. Yeah, it's longer. I want it to be a little lower though. So if I was kneeling or sitting, I want it to be about right here at this knot. This knot right here. Okay. Hey. Also, if I twist it, probably has even. Yeah. All right. Let's tie this sucker up. All right. As bad as that knot looks, it'll uh, it's gonna hold. So I'm, I'm happy with that for tonight until I learn better knots. Uh, so, okay, now we need to just get the back poles and then just skinnier ones, maybe about the size of three fingers, about the width of three fingers. And uh, we'll get that back, back side up and we'll go collect some firewood and start a fire. Yeah, here's a good dead one. Oh. Didn't need to chop it. All right, I like that. guys off. So can at least walk through the forest. Alright. Okay. So it's gonna get dark out in about a half hour. I don't have enough time to go searching for more good straight deadwood, which there's not a lot around here. There's a lot of good like curvy, jaggedy stuff for uh, firewood that's great. I'm gonna find a lot of that and right, it's everywhere around here. So I won't have a problem with that, but uh, yeah, straight deadwood is, uh, it's not very, it's not looking good in here. So I'm just gonna take these five, put them on the back of the lean-to here, 
lean them up against the back of it and then uh, put the tarp. I have a tarp, so I'll put the tarp on the back of it. Just do a tarp lean too and then build the fire right out in front. Uh, so after, we're gonna do that right now and after that we'll go get some firewood for the fire before it gets dark out. I'm gonna cook some good dinner. Alice is gonna love dinner. Yeah, I need to get this going so I, need, so I can put our bedding down so she can at least sit on it while I'm looking for firewood. Even though she won't sit down while I do that. Break off these tips. Nice. Not too bad. The opening over here, I can't cover. Either I leave my feet open or that open. I do have a much smaller tarp. I could double it up with just more tarp. Uh, it's a possibility. What do you think? Or we could just lay with our heads that way. I'm gonna get some snow and pile it up on the bottom end there to pack it in and fill in any gaps. Um, but yeah, I think I might just put our heads that way and our legs coming out and towards the fire. That might be nice anyway, so yeah. Our legs, I mean my legs, and you're just going to be in a ball in a sleeping bag. Yeah, a little ball. If I hear I need to remember to bring a shovel. So uh, I'm going to use the top of my tote to shovel snow at the bottom. This is might take a lot longer than I think it will. And snow is a great insulation too. Sticks in the way. Okay, cool. I got all the gaps filled in down there. And I'll decide later tonight if I want to put a tarp on that side or just leave it open. It's not too bad. There's a lot of thick pine trees right over there, so it kind of seems closed off as it is. It's not going to get windy tonight, so I can't imagine this ever coming down. It should just be like this all night, just very still, uh, which is nice, but it's very quiet sometimes. I don't like it when it's too quiet. It can be a little eerie. So maybe I'll just have the fire going for most of the night. Uh, try to at least. So it's getting dark out right now. Let's go get some firewood and uh, start this fire and lay out the bed stuff and then start cooking. Alice, Alice, hey, I'll go with firewood. Wanna go with firewood? Let's go. Good girl.
All right, so I got a pile of larger firewood over here. And for tinder, I found some oak leaves, so that'll do well. Couldn't find birch anywhere around here, but that's all right. This should all do. They were hanging off a tree, so it should be fun. So it's a lot damper out here than I thought. Uh, this is a lot harder to start than I expected. I had to baby it a lot more than I wanted to, but I noticed it was kind of drizzly when I came in, even though it was around 30 under freezing. And it actually still feels kind of like moist in the air. Like I feel droplets, but I don't see snow. I haven't seen it, you know, even before it got dark out. So I don't know, it's just very, wet out even though it's below freezing it's got to be high 20s right now so i just had to baby it a lot more than normal but hey we got it going got to baby it a little more and then hopefully i can get some bigger stuff on here once i get some good embers and then uh yeah then i'll have some time to put the bedding out atlas is already laying under the tarp behind me She's tired. She wore herself out just going crazy. She always does that. She doesn't, she just pushes it to her limit. She, I think then she's like, why am I so tired at the end of the night? I don't get, I don't get why I'm just ready to go to bed at like 7 p.m. She'll go next to the tent or wherever we're sleeping and ready to go to bed because she just pushes herself to the extreme. She's nuts. Okay, cool. Hopefully in a minute here I can put some a little bit larger stuff on here and get an actual fire going. You hear it popping a lot. I mean, a lot of it's pine, so it will pop. But uh, and it's also a little wet though and damp. So this is that rotten log from earlier. I found that uh, I wanted to use for the ridge pole, but couldn't because it would just broke on me so now I'm just gonna cut it up into smaller pieces log pieces and uh burn that tonight over the over the full night tripod up for dinner. That's right, we're hanging hanging dinner over the fire tonight. Not a big deal. These will still go together all the same. They just won't be held together when they're apart. When they're not. There go. There's the top. Okay. 
don't know. Where's the rest of the chain? What? Oh, okay. I was about to say we'll have to make shift one with pair card. And hopefully it doesn't burn. That would have been risky though. I would not want to do that. Okay. Now it's time to get food out. And I will be eating some delicious tri tip. There it is. Tri tip. All right, there it is. Check that out. Wow. There she is in all of her glory. And when you know, Atlas woke up. All right, let's put it on. All right, here goes nothing. Let's lower it carefully. All right. Now let's build a fire up and uh, let it cook for a while. swinging everywhere. I don't want to fall off. Lose dinner. Oh no. Atlas would be upset. Huh, Atlas? She's just eyeing the tri-tip down. She's ready. All right. All we do now is uh, chill for 45-ish minutes. I do have some Brussels sprouts I'll throw on there in a bit, but not yet. I didn't bring any tin foil or uh, my skillet's in my truck, so I'm just gonna throw them on top of here, whole. Just cut off the butts of them, boil them, salt them up, throw them on their hole, and they should stay inside the grate, not fall through. They're not, I mean, they're big enough to where they won't fall through that grate. Yeah, that'll be perfect. But fire might be getting a little too big. So, Alice and I are going to chill out for a little bit. Just enjoy the scenery and the night air. I can tell the temperature's dropping, but right here next to the fire, it's still not too bad. I can just wear this base layer stuff. Not my outer big jacket. But a couple times a day, when I'd stop moving, I'd have to put that on, I'd get cold, but then once I started moving, I, had, I started almost sweating a few times. I did sweat a few times, so. That's why I'm still not wearing my hat. It's, not, it's really not too bad. The, uh, I think most of the day was sitting right around 30, 30 degrees, so really that's not bad. Tonight should be around maybe 20 is below, maybe. Maybe a little higher than that, so it's not gonna be too bad. I might try and bring the fire a little closer, not too much closer. Don't want to burn our season bags, but um, yeah, I think we'll be good tonight. I got this new military grade sleeping bag. It's like two sleeping bags inside of a kind of a bivy sack. And then uh, she's got my really nice 30 degree sleeping bag. And uh, she'll be fine in that with her coat on. I'll double it up kind of, I'll fold it on top of her and everything. And she's sleeping on an air pad just like I am. So we'll be good. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit and wait for this to cook. and. I think it's got to be at 165 degrees in the middle. We've got a meat thermometer here, so we'll know. 
I'm gonna chill out for a little bit and we'll see you guys in a bit when the food's almost ready. Whoa, that's way too big of a piece. Whoa, that fat up there. Let's cut that in half. Right, here we go. Oh my god, that's good. You cannot go wrong with those store bought tri tips, they're marinated and seasoned. To perfection. I could never do it that well. That would take like years to get that down right. All right, here's a piece for Atlas. Her first piece. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like meat candy, you know? Meat candy. Whatever it is, it's good. And we're gonna eat this whole thing tonight. And then some of those Brussels sprouts. Atlas, she'll eat a Brussels sprout or two. So good. Now we did eat a lot off camera earlier. So she ate, I ate some earlier today. So this is plenty for us. All right, Smoke. Why, why? What happened? You've been so cool for the last hour or two. I could eat this whole thing. We are gonna eat this whole thing. There's the perfect amount of fat on it, too. Just a little lip of fat. Well, we're just going to sit here and uh, chow down on this, so we'll catch up with you guys later. So we just got done eating dinner. It was delicious and we ate it all, of course. Uh, put Alice to bed already. She's under here, under multiple layers of sleeping bag. So she feels warm. She's gonna be just fine. She's probably gonna get too warm. I might, I might as well. Uh, this thing's rated to, I think below zero. It's only gonna get down to, I think about 20 tonight, maybe. Right now it's probably mid 20s. It doesn't feel too bad right now. Uh, stop that light sleeting. Or maybe it's still coming down. Can't really tell. Maybe it is. But uh, yeah, once we're in bed and under here, we'll be just fine. But for our first night winter camping in Michigan for the season, not too bad. It is only going to get colder. I saw for the forecast probably next week, it's going to be more like highs in the lower to mid 20s and then lows around like 10 down to the single digits so it's definitely going to be colder than this definitely gonna have to build a better shelter if that's the case get out here earlier a better fire system yeah we'll do it though but not bad for our first night i'm happy all right we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night
Oh. Well, good morning. It's a pretty good night. It was a bit brisk, but uh, I slept pretty good. The only, the only con I have about this sleeping bag is even though it's like military grade and it's supposed to be for this weather, for some reason it is kind of mummy style where the back comes up above your head, but only about like halfway above your head. And I'm 5'10", and then the front came to maybe just about my nose to eyes somewhere in there. Maybe my, hi, hi girl, maybe my forehead area. Hi, you weirded out because I'm talking to the camera, huh? Okay, well, that's fine. Make some breakfast here soon for you. Yo, oh yeah, that's like got a paw, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, so this part's pretty much exposed for me unless I somehow bend my knees a lot and get down in the sleeping bag, which once I did and, you know, covered my head up, uh, it wasn't bad at all. And I took everything off that I'm wearing now. I got in there, took everything off, and then I just put on um, like regular pajamas, sweatpants, uh, t-shirt and sweatshirt and then loose socks as well. So nothing tight on me and I was I was fine in that. I was good with a hat on and then my hood up. Anyway, woke up and had to get everything on because it was, it's pretty cold. It was about 20 when I first woke up and uh, sun just came up a little bit ago. Atlas is already roaming around and uh, I'm gonna make some coffee really quick and then we're gonna go for a quick walk for, uh, just to get our blood pumping because it's still a little cold. I got the cold embedded in me from changing just a few minutes ago. I just remembered that I have eggs here and for breakfast I was gonna do eggs and tri-tip, but we ate all the tri-tip. So, I don't really wanna just make eggs. I could do eggs and cheese, I got some cheese, but it's boring. Atlas, hey, 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 drop it. And I have some, uh, I don't know what she's picking up. I do have some camper meals, but that doesn't sound very good either. So I think I'm just gonna do coffee for myself and I got a protein bar. Drop it, drop it. What are you eating? I don't, I don't see what you're eating. Don't do that. Yes, yeah, so I don't want camper meals. I think we'll just do like a protein bar or something like that. And then we'll pack up and head out after the walk. Do breakfast somewhere else. Cause uh, unfortunately, we ate all the tri-tip. It was delicious. So, all right, make some coffee. Coffee and then go for a walk. Yeah, coffee then walk. Okay. Mm, ow, hot, mm -mm, dumb, that was stupid. All right, let's go for a walk, Atlas. Take this with us. All right, so I think Atlas and I are gonna head home after this walk. And since you've hung around for this long in the video, you might as well like it and subscribe. It helps us a lot. It helps us to come out here and do this more consistently, put out videos more consistently, and hopefully get better gear soon because if it gets any colder, we're gonna need more gear and more time to come out here and actually establish a better shelter, better fire, uh, all that stuff. I need to learn a few things like knots. I've never been good at knots, but I need to spend a little time and do that. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time.